Hi, I'm Alice. And I'm Kristen. And this week we are in Metzler County Park outside of Estacada, Oregon. So we've been staying for about a week now in a primitive van site in Metzler County Park. And the campsite is basically a parking space. And then you have an access to a table and a fire ring. This would be an amazing site, probably in the spring or fall. But in the summer, it's in direct sun. And it has been very hard to stay cool. So we've been leaving the site and then coming back and sleeping here, which has been amazing because it's a great safe site to sleep at. It's been really nice to be able to go out to different places like the state parks in the area and then know that we have a place just to come back and park at. So they have a lot of amenities here. They have a swimming hole, a disc golf course, baseball field, playground, volleyball court, variety of other things. It seems like it was originally set up more as a summer camp type area. That's in the main area. We're kind of on an offshoot here in the primitive van area. Yeah. And then there's the main campground in that area that looked really nice as well, but it is completely booked up Everything. on the weekends. <laughs> Everything is booked because it's summer. <laughs> Otherwise, the spot has been really nice and we've been happy with it. This is the access road up to the Forest Service areas. The map swears it's the right road. So we'll find out if we can make it up this. That's the marina that we went down to, the campgrounds to the left, and then this is the lake that we took the boat out on. So we've been on our first dirt road here for a while. It's been pretty rough. So we bottomed out these stairwell and then the doors wouldn't open. <laughs> so this piece got bent. I broke our bus. <laughs> so this is how we fix things. The other thing, unfortunately, is that this little pullout was trashed. So, of course, we're taking out more than we take in. So we'll get this cleaned up. So this is totally disgusting. Someone made a pooping chair, which is exactly what you think it is. It's a chair with a hole cut out for pooping, and they left all of their bathroom trash just everywhere at this campsite, which is more than we're willing to clean up. But who does this? This is ridiculous. So we found a neat road, it's called Forest Road 4614. It's near Mount Hood. And it appears that it was a pretty major road at one time. It's, we can see the double yellow stripe down it and it, like it's a highway road. But everything has been overgrown. So um, like the nature is taking back. So it's turning into a single lane road, but it's really neat. This is not good. There's not plenty People of room. People take buses down this road all the time. They do not. <laughs> this is like recreating a scene from Spongebob. <laughs> well, it looks like we made it to the end of the road. It was not the top of the mountain, which is a bummer. We're a couple miles short, but they clearly stopped the road here. So that was quite the adventure drive. The bus handled it great. She's just big, <laughs> but we had plenty of power and we just kind of forced our way through, but we're good. Well, that was crazy close. I was flying the drone, taking video of Mount Hood, as you'll probably see or just saw, and the camera went wonky. The gimbal started pointing it at the sky, and I usually fly back to where I take off from manually. So this time I had to put it in automatic mode, but I had to override the return to home altitude because we're on a really steep mountain here. So if I let it go, it would have landed in the trees accidentally, then tried to fly over here. That's not gonna work. So I got it directly overhead, got it landed, but now we gotta figure out what causes a Mini 2 gimbal to misbehave that way? We'll go find out. Well, our day just got a lot worse. The entire hitch broke. We are literally on the ground. So now we're in a state park. Uh, parked in the parking lot, taking up like six spots, and now we got to fix this. Here is how bad it is. It's 
So our plan is to remove it and then get rid of a bunch of stuff. Okay, we got it rigged back up. The thing doesn't fit inside, so we emptied out the container and then rigged it up. And then we're gonna go find a place to dump it, I guess. I don't know. Uh, we'll have to fit the bikes inside. That's not gonna be good either, so. Okay, so we are on our way now to Sandy because Sandy has a place that we might be able to donate the large box that was on the back of the rack to, which we have to donate that first before we can take the broken racks to the transfer station, I guess, also in Sandy. Right now, this is what we have going on back there. Everything that was in that black box was an all on our bed. Our bikes are in the aisle. Our gas can ooh, is being precariously held by me right down there. This has been a rough start, but we will now have to deal with our wreck. And now the universe told us today is the day we got to deal with it. So now we got to figure out, are we going to go with another bike rack or I don't know. It's crazy. Anyways, off to Sandy. Well, we went by the local gun store here and went inside and they were all super nice. They were a little hesitant that we were giving away nice things for free, <laughs> but they took the, uh, the container. And now we're on the side of the road again, and I'm going to try to salvage the bike rack so that we can get rid of the bent part, but still be able to put one bike back here. So we definitely learned you just have to do stuff wherever and whenever, and then on the side of the road. <laughs> So we got the metal dropped off, it was free, that was great. They even helped us get it off the back of the bus. But now this is what the inside looks like. <sighs> well, that was a crazy day. We got totally exhausted after getting that taken care of. So we decided to go do laundry, hang out in a parking lot, get some food, had some ice cream. So now we're back at camp and we need to get the hitch sorted because we need to get at least one bike onto the rack. But it means I have to drill new holes to be able to stick the pin through. Oh, and we also made it down to the Clackamas River, which was amazing. It was a great way to end the day. We just had like six hours of other tasks today that we did. So we also plan on going there tomorrow. Well, today keeps on giving. I broke the drill bit off in the hole. We did it and we're exhausted. I love you, babe. How do you feel? I'm really tired. <laughs> The last thing we did in this area was to take a hike along the Dog Creek Trail along the Clackamas River at Milo McIver State Park. It's a great little trail, ends up down at the water, and then loops around the fish hatchery. And then that was it for here. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.